Paul, welcome naman dito sa ating channel, Simple Life with Ron. Kung saan po tungo ko sa inyong patawag ang mga simpleng bagay na matupulong sa inyong pang-araw-araw ng buhay. So ito nga mga tol, ang pag-usapan natin ngayon mga tol ay tungkol sa isang bago ng NFT games. Uh, ito ay ang Dinapet mga tol. So ano nga ba ang Dinapet? Ano nga ba meron na Dinapet mga tol? So yan ang pag-usapan natin ngayon mga tol. Pero bago yan, um, tapi subscribe naman sa ating channel. at indutin ang notification bell button para sa mga susunod so ito nga mga tol uh, ang gagawin natin ngayon mga tol ay mag-review tayo ng isang uh, bagong NFT game so dito mga tol makikita ninyo sa official website ng laro ng ito na napakaganda naman ng graphics nila so parang ito ang dragon na talaga yung it's Sora na yung characters so siguro kung familiar kayo sa Helga na rin mga tol yan ay uh, parang cartoons yung cartoon like yung characters doon mga tol so hindi masyadong realistic so dito mga tol ikikita nyo naman agaw travel na yun dito sa kanan mga tol ay talagang uh, pinagtibay nila yung graphics nila dito sa kabila naman uh, may maliit na dragon uh, video ano nga naman niya video hindi masyadong maganda yung graphics niya pero um, compare sa iba mga to mas maganda to so titignan natin ngayon mga to kung ano nga bang no potential nga ba meron ang um, game na to so titignan natin Punahin natin ngayon mga tol ang pag-asapan ng Benapet Ecosystem. So, ano nga ba yung ecosystem nila? So, ang Benapet Ecosystem is the perfect combination of NFT gaming and DeFi that enables users to have fun and earn profit simultaneously. So, yan mga tol. So, ito nga talaga yung goals ng uh, bawat NFT game na no? uh, masasayang ka sa paglalago at the same time uh, you can earn money so by investing so yan mga to pero kunti yung screen mo lang mga to na hindi po tayo um, professional financial advisor so ang ginagawa lang natin dito ay nagre-review ang tuturo date passes sa atin sa huling kalansan at hindi tayo ng review na mag-invest ka rito so kain lang pa rin mga tol na bago ka mag-invest ay mag-search ka mo so the comprehensive ecosystem comprises benefit, RPG game, farming, NFT, marketplace, and auto so yan Pwede ka mag-farm dito mga tol at may mag-investing siya para makapagbenta ka ng items mo o bibigay ka ng items. So more than a game, then a pet. So as a strong community, I'm from players on investing activities to earn money from game. So in a map, dragon pets and the users will be able to build as many dragon pets as they would like eventually going on to become adapted and growing up so yan mga tol 
So, I put one lag into my more pixel. I'm going to put on more. Ah, dito pala. Sa um, introductions nila. So, bago tayo dyan yung mga pull, punta mo yung pen sa baba. So, ito yung meron si Benapet. So, NFT farming, stake your dragon with NFT at the farm. It will generate it. B pet tokens for your baby block. So, yan. So, makukuha ng token dito ng call ay ang B pet. So, yan. So, pwede ka rin uh, may play to earn din sila nito. Defeat the invaders to win valuable items. You can sell these items to get that tokens or keep them to increase strength in the next battles. Yan mo to. Bawat laro dito mo to. Bawat panalo may reward to mo tatay. So marketplace mo to. You can buy or sell the dragons or rare gear to everyone on a completely decentralized NFT open market. So, yan. So, ito yung sinasabi ko ng you can buy and sell items sa mismo marketplace nila. At dito, uh, may tinatawag silang deflation. So, 95% of the prop or profit, siguro, income, is injected into the mining pool and 5% of the transaction fee goes to the development team. So, yan. So, 95% ng ito ay doon uh, maiimbak sa pool nila kung saan yun yung pang reward nila sa mga players so 5% na sa development team. Siguro pag hindi ko parang mas ma-improve pa ang laro. So, yan. Dito tayo ang mapatuloy. So, ito yung introduction. And then benefit. Okay, so then how to play. We to focus on that. So benefits contracts are deployed on the Binance Smart Chain. So the player will need to have a nominal amount of BNB can cryptocurrency to pay for transactional fees. So Ang kailangan mo talaga dito na cryptocurrency mo tulay dito. So, then, they will need to have the wallet. Example, MetaMask. So, kailangan mo na rin din i-connect yung, yung account mo sa MetaMask. Which can store the BNB cryptocurrency and which can also store the BPEP again. So, the players will need to set up the MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. So, then, yan mga ito. Kailangan pa rin yung ibang laro. Tapos, kailangan mo ng metamask. So, uh, may pre-sale sila ng August 12, mga ito. So, then, dito tayo sa game characters. Ano meron ang game characters? So, Dragon Egg. So, Nagaya din ng Dragonary. So, nandito rin yung pwede ka rin uh, gandawa ng bagong character mo, bagong dragon. So, dito, the dragon eggs that players can buy in the active market or ancient egg. And the five corner dragon eggs. Red. Or weed. by dragons are called elemental eggs. So, Yung mabibili mo mga ito, ancient egg yun. At yung mga nagbreed nyo na, so yun ay elemental eggs. May gold, wood, water, fire, earth, ancient. So yan. Pet, dragons, attributes. Five elements, attributes. So yellow, itong dito mo ito, ay yan. Ito, gold or yellow, then a gold, wood is green, 
water is blue, fire is red, earth is brown. Yeah. Battle, attributes, health, attack, defense, speed. When the life is zero, the battle fails or the fear is low, blood, volume, and the end of the round fails. And each battle is therefore automated chain. So, yeah, so my energy for that's the consume energy in battle. The loser or picky will lose 10 points of energy and the winner will lose 5 points of energy. That's character can have participating auto when energy is zero. So my energy requirement in the to mapa para maka maka pamilaro. Pano man naman ma-replenish yung energy mo. So my energy supplement sila including two ways to reiki recuperate to get energy in the farm or use props to restore energy so the pet recovers 10 points of energy per hour so yan yeah, so about 10 hours you can 10 points when the pet is pledged in the farm the dragons of different levels have different energy caps at the same time energy is the basis for the proportional divide of reward pool in the farm. So, yung energy mo mo to na makukuha pala, yun yung magiging mabasihan sa paghati-hati ng uh, reward mo to. So, yan. So, may 60. Ito yung mukha niya mga to. Yan. So, dito naman tayo sa level. Dragon eggs include ancient dragon eggs in the shop, as well as dragon eggs breeded by players in different levels common, senior, rare, legendary, and epic. So, ito yung kategory niya mga to. Five levels. So, the attribute upper limit of each level of dragon eggs is different. So, the upper limit, limit of each level is a multiple. Of common level such as health common 100 senior 200 rare 300 legendary 400 epic yeah so the attributes of the hatch dragon is randomly generated for one to the upper unit the sum of all dragon attributes health attack different speed energy is a comprehensive score and every score is higher than the corresponding level of dragon eggs hatch from the dragon will be the same levels as yourself, but there will be differences in shape. So, yan mga pa. Ito yung mukha ng common dragon. Ito yung senior dragon. Ito yung rare dragon. Ito yung legendary. Ito yung epic. So, yung nakita natin kanina mga to ay yung sa Kaliwa ang bahagi ng screen kanina, ito yun. Yung rare dragon. Yung sa kanan naman, ipig ka lang. So, yan mga to. Dito tayo sa pet dragon hatching. Ito na yung pinag-usapan natin kanina mga to. No? So, ito yung five elemental eggs. So, Yung eggs na mabibili mo sa market mo to, yun ay ancient na. Pag mag-breed mo na siya, depende na kung ano yung i-breed mo. So, may five na elements yun. Gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. So, yan. Then, ito, pet dragon breeding. So, ito, ang rules nila. So, Every two dragons can have chances to breed one dragon egg. So, bawat talawa, so siyempre yung parents talaga yun. So, hindi naman uh, magkakaroon yung anak o kaysa lang. Diba? So, dito, breeding rules, the higher level of the two dragons serves as the reference dragon. There is a certain chance to breed a dragon that is one level higher than the, the Reference dragon. So, yan mga to. 
So, posib possibly pala na yung mag-degrade mo ay uh, one level higher than the mother or the parent child. So, maganda dito pala mga pala. So, the attributes of the five elements of a dragon are reproduced according to the probability of the mutual proportion of the level. Now, there is a 1% probability that other attributes of the five elements will be reproduced. So, yan. Yan mga to. So, 1% probability case na magiging iba yung attributes of the five elements daw. So, only dragons with the same ownership and in free state can breed. So, yung pag-aari mo lang yung na dragons ang pwede mong i-breed. So, may notes sila dito. When breed two dragon together, the, the two dragon will be burned and get a high level egg. For example, senior dragon breed with common dragon will get a rare egg. Common dragon breed with or breed with common dragon will get senior egg. Breed doesn't require to use two same level dragons. Pwede ka lang ato. So, pwede mo i-breed yung common at rare. Pwede mo i-breed yung common to common. So, ganyan niya. So the level of egg will be higher than the highest level of two dragon that used for breed or breeding. So, yan mga to. So, one level higher than the highest level. Halimbawa, yung rare, yung parent. So, one level higher doon. Ngayon magiging egg niya. So, eggs that are breed by two parent dragons have the probability to hatch a dragon that of lower level. So, meron pa rin probability na mas, mas mababa yung level niya. Level of dragon is judged by the average attributes values of dragon. So, yan. Depende pa rin sa attribute ng dragon mga to. So, upper limit of a rear egg attributes value is 300 for this random pick. If the average attributes value is larger than 200, that is real level dragon. If average, average attributes value is value between 100 to 200, it's a senior dragon. So, yan mga po. But uh, 300, uh, yan ay isang rare. Or 200 mga po. So, average between values between 100 to 200, yan senior. So, 200 pa taas to 200 to 300, yan ay rare. 100 to 200, yan ay uh, senior. Um, less than 100, yan ay common. So, yan mo to. Therefore, the risk of bidding exists. Exist. If you are not able to take the risk, please don't do bidding. Yan mo to. So, dragon level, senior, yan. Uh, may mga percentages dito. Incubation, probability, 50%. So, siguro, yung pag dito mga tol. Ancient dragon egg incubation probability, 5%. So, hindi pa natin masyadong maintindihan ito mga tol. Sana, sa susunod natin uh, review, ay maintindihan na natin to kung ano talaga to siguro kung may nakakaintindi na dito tulungan nyo lang akong ipaintindi dito sa ating mga photo dyan so pakicomment na lang si Baba kung ano yung alam nyo dito so I guess yun lang yun mga tol so all in all ang assessment ko dito mga tol ay napakaganda dahil Unang una, yung graphics niya ay maganda na rin. At pangalawa, yung reading, uh, ano niya, reading rules ay medyo kapit-apit din. Kasi pwede mo ibang 
breed yung mag-ibang level ng dragon. Di kagaya na yung dragonary na magsimisimula pa talaga sa common dragon pang breed mo. So, sana mga tol ay nakakatulong tong uh, video na to para maintindihan ninyo ang benefit kung maganda ba ang mag-invest dito, maganda ba ang maglaro dito. So, yan. Huwag niyo kalimutan, like, subscribe sa aking channel. Bye-bye.